Jennifer, it's so great to have you here. Thanks for having me. You are now about to start season five of Ghost Whisperer. Yes. Does it seem like it should be less or more <laughs> to you? It at this depends point? on the day. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it feels like we've been doing it way longer than five years, and sometimes we can't believe it. Jamie started on the show a yes. year ago, yes. and you know, I have to ask. <laughs> he is, and he's he's wonderful on the show. He is wonderful on the I show. I know what a funny guy he is. Yeah. So to be on a show this serious, but with a little bit of levity, mm. um, and you've developed a relationship. Yes. Does it make it more complicated on the set? Um, it's actually, on and off the set, I should say. You know what? It's really nice. I mean, first of all, I'm so I'm so proud of him for what he's been able to do on the show and sort of becoming a. You know, people come up to us all the time now, and and they very rarely comment on how funny he is. They almost always say, "God, you really made me cry in that episode." And for him, that's very touching because for a comedian and somebody who's done pretty much only funny stuff in his career, it's yeah. really nice for him to now be on a drama and to have that sort of effect on people. So I'm really proud of him for that. Um, and it's been great. You know what? It's it's it. It hasn't added anything complicated. It's been really nice. You know, I feel like I have somebody, I'm close with everybody on the show, but it's really yeah. nice to have somebody that you love and care about kind of next to you and with you all the time because we can sort of help hold each other up when the schedule gets long and things like that. And it's nice. We'll and see. being the executive producer, they can't kill him off without <laughs> sure signing off on it, right? No, they can't. Okay, unlike Jim. <laughs> but if he gets killed off, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I didn't go to them and say anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe that, you know what? Maybe it does get complicated you <laughs> said that I don't know yeah no he's not going anywhere he's gonna stick around what'd you do on hiatus this past summer I you know what I did something really fun I followed Jamie on his comedy tour tell me how you guys travel around you know Are what? you RVing it? No, we were flying and staying in like great hotels, but we travel really well together and it was just, it was really fun. I had never sort of seen um, the world or the United States that way, just sort of going around and doing that. And it was really nice not to have it be about me. It was just nice to like support him in what he does. And there's, there's nothing better for the spirit than going to a mm -hmm. comedy club every night. Now, being a comedian, he probably wants to talk <laughs> about everything in his life. Is there anything off limits? I mean, can he talk about you on stage? Um, he does talk about a relationship on stage. He has some really, <laughs> he has some really funny jokes actually about it that I think are cute. Um, but he is very, he's very considerate. He will say, "Babe, should I say this or should I not?" And there's been some stuff where I was like, "You know what? We really." just don't need to go there. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for asking. Um, and he's been really good, like some of his other jokes that were, you know, about other people in the past or that had sort of other connotations in them and everything. He will yeah. adjust things to sort of make it comfortable for, for me to be there, which is which is very nice. But by and large, you are just very cool about it. Yeah, I, mean, I, re I really like being made fun of. I don't, I, it doesn't offend me and so, and I think his comedy is really funny and he's he's not one of those comedians that's like out to hurt people or anything. Yeah. He just does it as a, as a really a joke and it's the stuff he does say on stage is very funny you know I want to talk to you a little bit about directing because I know you've directed the season opener yes do yes. you love doing that? Is that a part? I do. It's my Something new you passion. want to continue doing? Yeah, I really do. I hope it's like my total second career. I really do. I'm, I'm looking at films to direct. I'm just, I'm so thrilled. I just love it. You're also writing a book on dating. Yes. Now, are you giving advice? Tell, tell me what the focus of the book is. It's not a tell-all book. It's not, I don't talk about people that I've dated in that, and I don't do that for a reason. They were great yeah. people. That's left in yeah. what it is, and quite honestly, there's nothing left that hasn't been said. <laughs> <laughs> in a magazine well, I, I or bet. something like that. So it's really not about that stuff. It's more about me sort of saying, I'm a girl just like any of you, and we have all have this sort of common thread, and we're all very much alike. Now, <laughs> uh, in the season finale last year, very pregnant, expecting <laughs> yes. the baby, and the two of you are standing out there. You get married on the street. But I understand this season mm -hmm. does not start. It doesn't pick up right from there. It doesn't. No, we are. Um, we will be doing a pretty significant time jump in the series, um, which we're really excited about. I think it's going to be fun. You know, we we realized that um, we could tell more interesting stories with uh, with Melinda and her child being a little bit older. We get the hint that he is going to have your gift times ten. Yes, he's actually going to be far more gifted than Melinda could ever hope to be, um, which is you know awe inspiring. It's um, it's wonderful and it's terrifying for her all at the same time. It's almost as if his gift is, is far more frightening than anything she's ever had to encounter on the show before. Do you uh, believe in ghosts? You I, know, you've been asked that a million times. It's right hard to play Melinda every day and not believe in them. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. I've definitely experienced some weird things on the show, so...
on the show, but yeah. not in real life. Off camera, but while we were filming. You know, one thing that I have noticed about the show, you always look fantastic. Thank you. Your wardrobe is great. The Thank makeup is perfect. Thanks. I mean, has there ever been as glamorous an antique dealer in the history of the world? <laughs> I know. Thank God for Les Moonves. That's all I can say. <laughs> He's, he was so kind because he was like, you know, he goes, I have a lot of cop shows. And he's like, and the girls can't dress up. Let's have Belinda be glamorous. And I was like, okay. So it's great. I mean, I'm always so inappropriately, but like fantastically dressed for every fantastic. moment. Fantastic. And it's great. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to see Melinda in sweats. Yes. Some, well, now that time. she's a mom, you will be seeing a little bit more than that because we do have to sort of have the reality in there of the fact that no matter who she is during the day, when she comes home, she's running around with her kid. I cannot believe how much fun this has been. Thank you for coming over to visit. Thanks for having me.